Boys and girls, tonight is quite literally a momentous occasion in world sport, in world football. Tonight, we will be watching France versus Portugal in the European Championship Final 2016. I am literally fresh off the plane, haven't been back too long from France myself. I went to see France versus Germany at the Stade Velodrome in Marseille. And now it is time to watch the final of the Euros. It's been an absolutely fantastic tournament. The semi-final was absolutely incredible. Griezmann, obviously, the star performer in a 2-0 France win, which has got them to the final in Paris against Portugal. And tonight, the spectacle happens. Now the superstars we're looking out for today, we're looking for the game changers to be Griezmann, Pogba, possibly Payet. Uh, Giroud's had a very good tournament in terms of goal scoring. We've also got on Portugal's team Ronaldo, we've got Renato Sanchez. And Griezmann's onto it! He's onside! Oh! He's pinged it just wide, just couldn't quite get his foot around it, but it was very, very good to get onto the end of that Griezmann. Nutmeg from Patrice Evra. Oh! Oh, it's what Griezmann's just nearly scored. The ball came in from the left. I think it was Dimitri Payet sending an absolutely perfect ball over the top. Griezmann was sprinting in behind. He jumped and he just fucking headed it, looping over the keeper. Rui Patricio back, just palmed it over the bar. And now France have a corner. Absolutely spectacular ball that was. I think it was Payet. But what a ball it was to find Griezmann. Portugal have looked very good in every single game they've played. They've never really looked like they're going to lose a game. I mean, they did come third in the group, which obviously normally in the European Championships wouldn't even get you through to the knockout stages. But they seem to have progressed and progressed and done better and better to get themselves to the final. They've only actually won one game in 90 minutes, which is kind of crazy. But, I mean, like I say, they have fought to the very end and they've won games fair and square by whatever means, put, um, extra time, penalties... Um, obviously their semi-final win and you know they deserve to be here they do but yeah for me I think France probably might have a little bit too much but yeah these reaction videos have been very fun to record they've been very um, well received I've really enjoyed making them and if you want to see more of that kind of stuff in the future maybe some Premier League games some Champions League games Europa League um, obviously the next tournament internationally is not for another two years and that's the Russian World Cup so I can't really promise anything right now for that I probably will be still around then making videos but uh, leave a like on the video if you do want to see some more of this kind of stuff and I'll be very happy to make that kind of uh, those kind of videos for you. Someone's on the floor. I think Ronaldo looks like he's injured. He's crying. Oh, Ronaldo's crying. He knows he can't play for the final. And a moth just landed on his face, which was just bizarre. But he's, he's in tears already. It's 16 minutes into the game and I think he looks like he knows he cannot carry on. Nani and all the Portuguese players are around him. Even some French players going up to him saying... What's the matter? Are you, are you sure you're not going to be able to play? Ronaldo's in tears. He knows it. He must feel it. He knows his own body. He must be in absolute bits. He must be distraught. And people will be saying, I can already assure you that if France win this game, that Ronaldo's substitution, if he comes off, which it looks like he will, will have cost Portugal the game. I can just see that now. But... Um, I really do hope that this perhaps is just a little muscle problem. I would love to see Ronaldo play the final. Or oh, I've just seen the challenge on the replay and it looks like he's done his knee, jarred his knee. I don't know whether it's worth Portugal carrying like a, a, a fully injured Ronaldo though. Like it's probably not worth it. And Ronaldo's coming back on the pitch. He looks like he's going to try and run it off the number seven, but he doesn't look like he's in the right place just by his face. He looks like he knows that that injury is going to catch him up. In this game, Portugal on the counter. Ronaldo is definitely 100% limping. He is not at his full. And now Ronaldo's taking his captain's armband off. He's thrown it to the ground. He signaled to the bench that he cannot continue. I didn't think he would be able to. It looked too bad. And now Ronaldo's got to come off. And that is such a shame. It really is. Nani gets the captain's armband handed to him. Ronaldo breaks back into tears. It really is emotional scenes right now. Yeah, well played, Ronaldo. And it is Ricardo Caresma who's going to come and replace him. A sort of more like-for-like. Like. You can't really like-for-like like Ronaldo, but positionally a like-for-like like change. Caresma being obviously a wide player, um, attacking-minded player has come on for Ronaldo. And let's see what Portugal can do without him. That's the halftime whistle. First half, uh, I think it's fair to say it's been a little bit sketchy. Not that many clear-cut chances. France came out all guns blazing really in the first 10 minutes and Portugal with the team that looked nervy but towards the end of the half it looked very much more like Portugal were going to be the ones who were going to have an attack that uh, maybe could come to something maybe a goal or a very good chance 
And uh, yeah, nil nil, stalemate at half time. Right, no changes at half time. We are about a minute and a half into the second half now of the final of Euro 2016. No changes, but they were saying that Kingsley Coman was warming up. Um, could be a very, very interesting and very good substitution for France. Portugal, obviously, in this game, it's, it's suited them more really so far. They've set up very defensively, uh, very much looking to counter. Um, and it's been relatively successful so far. Only really Sissoko, uh, Payet to an extent, penetrating this uh, defensive Portugal setup. But Kingsley Coman could be a very good player to come on and, and really penetrate and run past people and really throw Portugal as they get a bit more tired. But we'll wait and see how that unfolds. I think France are going to grow into the game more. And I think it's going to suit them in the later stages with some of the talent that they've got on the bench, really. Especially with Ronaldo off as well. But let's see what happens in the second half of the final of Euro 2016. Crazy. Oh, well, that's very interesting. 57 minutes played now. And Dimitri Payet is coming off. A lot of players very, very confused. And Kingsley Coman on, of course. Which I think is a good call. But Payet off, of all people. Puts the ball in himself. Oh, and number seven. It was Griezmann in the middle. And he gets there. But he doesn't direct the ball into the back of the net. Instead, it just... Just clears the poster. See how far away it was. Oh, just clears the bar. Just over. Griezmann leaps. Almost finds his seventh goal of the tournament. Really was quite unlucky. Home falls over. Plays the ball through. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, we've just seen a like for like substitution. It's Andre Pierre Gignac who's coming on. And it's actually Olivier Giroud who's coming off. Meanwhile, Adair is coming on for Portugal. Not sure who's coming off for them, but. That's very like-for-like -like change for France. And perhaps Gignac might find that finishing touch that Giroud hasn't really had for this 77 minutes played so far. Oh, Portugal now. Ball comes in. It's decent. Oh, Lloris makes a save. It's an overhead kick and he catches it. And that was Portugal's best chance. Two shots on target. The first two shots on target that Portugal have had all game. Nani puts a lovely ball in. And Lloris was just wrong-footed. It was going on target. But then the ball came from Nani. Off of Larissa's palms, and then an overhead kick from João Mario. Zoko with a long strike. Oh, it's a beautiful strike that came up absolutely nowhere. Oh, sipping me bloody tea, and he's just pinged the ball. And there's another header, and it dribbles through to Rui Patricio. Literally came up nowhere. Sissoko had the ball in the middle of the park, had some space, took a couple of touches, and just pile drive one up. Great save from Patricio. Now I think he's down. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, controlled in the box. That's a goal, surely. Oh, it's in the post. Oh, I'm not even sure. I think it was Gignac. He can't believe it. He's just got the ball and just swiveled. And he's just played the shot off. And it's just hit, on the, hit the post. Oh, I can't even get my words out. He doesn't even... He doesn't, I'm not even sure how he looks. He just looks a bit perplexed. But that really was a golden chance for France in the last minute. And that's dribbled through to Lloris. And that will be full time of normal time. The score is nil-nil. It's been a slow, quiet final. No, no team really wanted to make risks. Portugal set up very much for a nil-nil draw. Or uh, a defensive performance, I should say. And uh, now we have another additional half an hour of extra time where maybe someone could come on. I think only two subs have been used by each team. Perez must have up for the corner. Puts it in right-footed. Oh, someone comes in. Oh, Lloris. Oh, he parries it away. And some Portugal had got to it. And Lloris just about does enough to get it away. And now France are on the counter-attack. It's brought down and it's dispossessed eventually by the Portugal defence. But that was a great chance for Portugal. I'm not sure who's hit it met. But it was the Portugal one and it came straight at Lloris. He was a bit bamboozled by it and he just parried it out. And luckily it was cleared then by his French defence. But that was a very, very good chance. And now Portugal come away with it again. And there with a shot. Oh! Oh my god! In the 18th minute and there! The substitute is bloody scored! The substitutes are on the pitch for Portugal! That has just come out absolutely nowhere! He's plugged it out of his battle bomb hole and just pinged a shot and it's been Lloris in the bomb corner. Everyone's on the pitch. France have got to go for this now in 12 minutes, but that is absolute scenes. Portugal won! France nil! I did not expect that in the slightest. Oh, the Portuguese. Players are absolutely all on the pitch. The substitutes, the manager, the coaching staff, everyone. What a shot that was. Oh my bloody word. Just absolutely no pressure on him. Just wriggled a little bit of space for himself. And pinged the ball and Lloris just couldn't get there. It was low, hard, powerful. Cracking shot from Ed there. Is this the player that left Swansea because he wasn't in form halfway through the season? 
I'm not even sure. Pogba shouts it. I think it's Matuidi. I'm not sure. Oh, the scenes. Portugal making up for the... Ronaldo, he's in tears. Oh, my word. Absolute scene. Sissoko comes off and Martial is coming on in the last 10 minutes of extra time to try and affect the change. The world is on his shoulders right now. France cannot surely lose this final on their own home turf in the last 12 minutes of extra time. One more minute now. One more minute until Portugal out of nowhere really win the European Championships. I cannot really believe it. It looks like this goal kick is going to be taken and then Portugal are about to, all ready to run on the pitch after this goal kick. And he gets a yellow card, but he's not going to care if this is it. And that's it! The final whistle's gone! I cannot believe that Portugal have won the Euros! And Ronaldo breaks into tears, but this game has not been about Ronaldo. He was off from the 16th minute. I cannot believe France have not won this game. They look absolutely distraught. Griezmann, where was he today? Where was he? Oh my word, Ronaldo cannot believe it. But it's all about the team, the Portugal team. This should not be about Ronaldo. There is the whole rivalry between Messi and Ronaldo this year. Messi misses penalty. Ronaldo obviously inspired Portugal to this victory now of the entire Euros. They finished third in their group. Third in their group without winning a game in the group stages. And I think Pepe has just been sick. I can't believe what is happening before my eyes on this television screen. <laughs> Literally, Portugal have won the Euros against France in the final in France. Deservedly so, you have to say. They set up so well. But it's crazy to think that they won one game in the whole tournament in normal time. In 90 minutes, they won one game. They've even won the final in extra time. A brilliant strike from Adair. France couldn't really... They just ran out of ideas, really. Couldn't find the back of the net. Couldn't wait, find a way through the Portuguese defence. And I'm just seeing the absolute despair on the French faces. They cannot believe it. But this has been the year of shock winners. Portugal winning the Euros now. A good team, but no one, no one saw them winning this. Leicester winning the Premiership. And now Portugal winning the Euros. Absolutely crazy. Well done. If you're Portuguese, you must be an absolute dreamland right now. Fully deserved in this game. So, so awful for France. I have to say, Lloris looks distraught. And that is incredible. So Portugal have won the European Championships. That is absolutely mad. I've said my bit. I've said how crazy and shocked that I am about that result. Um, I have to reiterate the fact that they finished third in their group. Normally that wouldn't even get you to the knockout stages of a European tournament or a World Cup or anything. An international tournament full stop. And Portugal have finished third in their group and gone on to just grind out victories basically. Uh, whether it takes 90 minutes, 120 minutes or penalties, they have done it in every single game they have played and they have won the Euros. The first competition, it's an international competition Portugal have ever won. Ronaldo subbed off at 16 minutes. Everyone thought surely France are going to win this now. Ronaldo was barking orders out. He really did inspire the team, but it was all about the Portuguese team and Edez, absolutely brilliant shot. And it's crazy to think that this guy has just turned up for this game when he had such a poor start to the season for Swansea had a few substitute performances I don't not even sure if he scored a goal but he scored the goal that matters and he'll be remembered forever and ever and this Portugal victory will be remembered forever and that is amazing absolutely amazing and this is why we love football I think the, the everyone's favorite really everyone wanted France to win but the fact that Portugal have won and you can see what it means to them is just crazy but anyway I hope you enjoyed my reaction I hope you enjoyed the match if you watched it leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you are new if, and you want to see some more reactions to big football matches sporting events and some more FIFA videos and different kinds of Euro and football related stuff I'll be doing a lot more posts soon and thank you very much for watching once again I'll see you next time absolutely mental thank you very much for watching Sweet.